I asked what was the most exciting part of your job and what was the most challenging part of your job. So let's go ahead and wrap up both. Why is it the most exciting and why is learning the most challenging part of your job at the same time? Yeah. So like my journey in cybersecurity has been like unique, like as everybody else. So I've been trying to learn a lot of new things, be it blockchain, be it red teaming, be it hardware. So I started in a, a organization as a security consultant. And every time there was a new requirement for from customer, we used to do a lot of research, have a lot of free time allocated, like, you know, a couple of weeks, go through it. So whenever you are trying to learn something in which you had no idea at all, for example, let's say you don't have any formal degree in electronics and telecommunication, but you want to learn about hardware. So your learning curve would be much more steep compared to someone who has already dealing with hardware. So that is the most challenging part, uh, you know, of, of my job that I think. And let's say even if you are doing a hardware security pen test, you are dealing with a developer uh, or a hardware engineer who knows a lot about a hardware. So a lot of the times when I used to do consulting with, uh, you know, uh, developers, so they they was the one who, who used to point me with, uh, you know, different chips. For example, if I want to get a UART, I have to find out TX, RX, but at, at the time, if you don't have a network diagram, a, a pin diagram for the hardware, it's difficult for you to identify those pins. So at the time, if you have a developer handy with you, it's really, you know, easy to point point or, you know, guide you through the hardware. So yeah, that's the reason I call it uh, one of the difficult thing in my job and also one of the most rewarding. Once you are, you know, away from the steep learning curve and once you're starting to get the hand of it, then you'll definitely enjoy the, you know, uh, output that you get so that's why it's also the most rewarding and also the most challenging part yeah i 100 percent agree i yeah same here you know everything is um, fun to learn and excited to learn but it's not easy and it's 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 very challenging uh to learn at the pace that we have to learn as offense security professionals so i couldn't agree more with you so i want to ask about your crac learning uh you're a volunteer you're a security reacher there so can you explain what the CRAC learning is Yeah, and sure. what your role so, is? Yeah, so I'm currently working as a research lead and also advisor for CRAC learning. So uh, Crack Learning was started by one of my seniors from uh, UMD. Her name is Swati. And she basically started this in order to teach all the young people uh, in India and all around the globe uh, about cybersecurity. So people who are just out of high school or just started their engineering if they want to learn or get a career will guide them you know throughout the uh, uh, path and in this we also try to give them some practical demos so during my uh, my research lead what i did is i picked out some cvs in 2023 2024 and i just uh, went through the pocs went through the write-ups and i simulated the same environment and i recreated the pocs and then i explained it to each and every student and I asked them to create their own version of the POCs to exploit certain CVs. And this way, you know, they get a lot of practical hands-on experience compared to like, like doing a course on Udemy. Uh, so yeah, that, that was our, you know, USP that instead of just going through the course, if a experienced person explains you and, you know, guides you throughout the course, it would be definitely helpful. So is it like a community that other people can join? Like if someone was listening to this podcast, would they be able to join join in on that pretty easily? Yeah, and how yeah. would they do that? So they can just uh, go, to the, go to the CRAC website. And on the website, there would be some forms. Uh, we also have a Discord channel. I can provide links to that. If you join it, uh, usually there is a certain time in which we start with, uh, let's say, 20 students at a time. And those 20 students would be uh, going through a lot of uh, tracks. So one track is CV analysis in which I used to lead and I used to go through each CVs. There is also a bug bounty track wherein some um, students can learn how to do bug bounty hunting, just the basics of recon, and they can report findings on their own on VDP or paid programs. But that would be like, it won't be like handheld, but it would teach you the basic approach of uh, picking a target how to do recon on a target and what are different OOPs top 10 uh, issues that you can quickly find out on a target. So as an offense security engineer, what are 
what what are you doing day to day? Like like do you do like network stuff? Are you doing like web app stuff? Or is it kind of like a mix of both? Are you doing social engineering? Tell me about like, you know, everything you, you're doing as office security engineer right now. Yeah, so right now I'm doing like a lot of different things like doing some uh, hardware pen testing and also some red teaming, also some web application testing. And also most of the time it's like most uh, basic security engineering stuff like guiding the developers with some security queries or guiding them through the secure SDLC process, doing the code review, pen testing, cl- cloud security, and so on. Do you have any additional cybersecurity hot takes or hidden wisdom you would like to share to the audience? Yeah, for, I think, hot takes, I would like to think that whether you are working on any of the sub uh, categories of the cybersecurity, I would, I would like to say that you should be more about going into the mindset rather than lear- learning the technicalities. So if I want to dive deep onto this point is, uh, for example, if I'm doing pen testing versus if I'm doing bug bounty hunting, the type of issues that I report as a pen tester is, you know, it's wo- world apart from what I report as a bug bounty hunter. I can't report something related to cookie session in a bug bounty uh, hacking, right? So that is the mindset you create. And right from the start of your engagement, if you know what type of mindset is required for this engagement, you, you would definitely succeed in that. Thank you for the advice and the wisdom. I really do appreciate that. If you enjoyed this clip from the Hackers Cash podcast, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe for more hacking and cybersecurity content. And if you want to watch the full episode, you can get that by clicking here. Or if you want to watch the best video for you, according to the YouTube algorithm, you can get that right here. See you in the next video.